qualified to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Tons of pre-orders, tons of epic action figures, and tons and tons more for your collections over there. Use the promo code MDTOYS, save 10%, and get in on all the epic WWE action figures that we love. What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another 2-in-1 Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 71 Big Show and Drew McIntyre. That was an absolutely horrific Drew McIntyre impression and I don't know why the hell I even tried. I am Drew McIntyre. Let's just shut the hell up and get into the review. All right, here we go, guys. We have the Big Show and Drew McIntyre right here looking pretty freaking swell. I'd say these are probably the next two that people are the most excited about in this series. You know, I'm pretty sure Nikki Bella's probably at the bottom. A lot of people are not really wanting that figure. She's not on TV right now. You know, she hasn't been on TV in a while, and I just don't know if people really want to see that figure. I mean, if you want to see that figure, that's fantastic. I just don't think it's the most in demand exactly. But John Cena, another one, you know, it, we, it's a re-release of the same attire. I think that's why that one brings it down, even though we have the new head sculpt, but getting into these figures, guys, they do look great. I mean, they're both absolutely mountain of men. I mean, they're they're freaking massive. I'm excited for both of them. We get two championships. We get interchangeable heads. We get great stuff, and I am very excited for these. Um, you know what we didn't do with Jeff Hardy and Adam Cole? We didn't cover the packaging, guys, so let's go ahead and cover the packaging. On the side, you obviously have pictures of Big Show and Drew McIntyre. On the back, you have more photographs. You have a picture of Big Show here, Drew McIntyre here. You got a little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. We have the rest of the figures in the way. Yesterday, we reviewed Jeff Hardy and Adam Cole. If you'd like to check that out, it is on the channel right now. Other side, we have their names again, and that pretty much does it for their packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and free them from their packaging. So here's Big Show and Drew McIntyre out of their packaging, guys, looking very good, very massive individuals. Big Show standing at seven foot, roughly, and Drew McIntyre says he's listed at six foot five, but I swear to God, when you see this man in person, he looks absolutely mad. He looks six eight or so, but anyways, the dude, the dude's gigantic, and we have seen Big Show before. We have seen Drew McIntyre before. Both of them do have elite figures in the WWE Elite Action Figure Wave, or not the main wave, but Drew McIntyre does have the NXT Elite, which is Target exclusive exclusive, which I doubt you'll be able to find anymore. So this is a good way for them to get Drew McIntyre into the main wave if you missed out on that exclusive. And Big Show, you know, we've seen him plenty of times in the past. He has a lot of elite figures that you can find, but this is our first little flashback figure to the Attitude Era, I'm pretty sure, as far as Big Show figures are concerned. But you guys already know how we do the review. We're going to break it down. We're going to do Big Show's accessories and then take a closer look at Big Show himself, and then we'll come back and take a closer look at Drew McIntyre's accessories and Drew McIntyre himself. So getting into Big Show's accessories, guys, he only comes with a few things, but they are very nice. You see this cloth t-shirt, and it does say Big Show on it. It's an, a classic Big Show t-shirt that he had in 1999. And this shirt actually is made from like a different material. This is not the same material they typically use for their shirts. And I don't know because if it, because it's so massive or what, but you guys can see like it's got like a whitish background on it to it. So on the inside, it does have a different color. It's kind of got some stretch to it. It is on Velcro, obviously, but it just feels different. I don't know how to describe it. If you own this figure, you know what I'm talking about. It's just not the same as other t-shirts we've seen before. It doesn't have that shininess to it. It kind of looks better than the, than the regular t-shirt stuff they used before. And we saw a t-shirt in the Adam Cole review. I'll go ahead and grab Cole right here. And you guys can just see that it's completely different. I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it is different than the one that we got with Adam Cole and the rest of our t-shirts we've ever gotten. So it's kind of insane to me that uh, we're getting this. I don't know if we've seen this before in the past. If we have, please let me know down in the comment section below, but we also get a beautiful WWF Championship from the Attitude Era. I freaking love this title. It's just so beautiful. It's beautiful in figure form. It's beautiful in RL. I have my own replica of this, and it's probably one of my favorite championships, if not my favorite world title that we've ever gotten from WWE. It's just such a freaking beautiful specimen. So we have that, and then we have two interchangeable hands, which are his choke slamming hands, or his Whoa. hands. So you definitely would like to have these when you you have Big Show so you can choke slam people and so you can go well because you know that's what Big Show be doing he be going well and he be going well so you definitely love to see that things you love to see that well also, before we move on, guys, he does have fists, which come out of the packaging, so you can do that knockout punch thing, even though this is long before he had that terrible finisher. You think you got the courage to step in the ring? You will. I think you're going to wind up with a snap net from the jokes. So now that we've done that, guys, let's take a closer look at Big Show himself. 
So getting into Big Show himself, guys, you can see here he has sort of, I mean, the likeness is uncanny. It looks just like Big Show in my personal opinion. This is back when Big Show had the ponytail going. Looking like Paul Heyman out here. Psych, Paul Heyman's was never like this, but still he got like the braided sort of ponytail going on. Looks really, really good. I think, again, the likeness to, to Big Show right here is fantastic. I think it looks just like him. And he also kind of looks like Triple H did in that one Blade movie. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting from this head sculpt. However, it does look just like Big Show. So that's, that's got to be something that we point out. Uh, now up next, I think this is one of the only Big Show Elite figures that we've ever gotten that is shirtless. I know we've gotten it in the past, but um, I think it's like one, maybe there's two more. There may be two more out there, but I know it came with like a cloth singlet and stuff. We've seen this torso before because people use it for Elite Braun Strowman, you know, the, the fix up. I might do it because I'm going to have two or three of these this Big Show because I, I, ordered, I ordered another Elite 71 set, so I'll probably have another one to use for a Braun Strowman or things of that nature. We have regular Big Show arms, which are massive, which look pretty good. You get your regular black tights but they do not go all the way down. They're just like a half singlet practically. It's practically a singlet look except the uh, singlet part's pulled down pretty much but the, I don't think he had a singlet at this time. He was just rocking the t-shirt unless it was underneath the t-shirt but I don't think it was and I'm just going to shut the hell up and move on with the review. Going down to the legs, you have no knee pads or anything. You do get his tattoo right here and then you get another uh Thought he had another tattoo. Guess not. This is before he got all of his other tattoos. Going down, you just have regular black boots, and that pretty much does it for Big Show, guys. Nothing too, too crazy, nothing too immaculate for, but it is a nice figure. I love the way it feels. I love all Big Show figures because they're so massive because he's the world's largest, biggest, massivest athlete, so you definitely have to give it to Big Show here. But now that we've finished taking a closer look at Big Show, guys, let's get into some Elite Big Show figure comparisons. So taking a closer look at some Elite Big Show figure comparisons, guys, you can see on the left we have the Elite blah, 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 and on the right we have the Elite blah, blah, blah. and in the middle we have the Elite Series 71 to compare them both we sort of have a flashback to the past so you have then, now, forever whatever the hell you want to call it you can see here both of these have camouflage singlets on I really love the blue one here I am missing that beautiful Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Big Show from that one, the Fan Central Big Show I really want that one so much I, if anybody has that I would love to trade for it I, I think that figure is beautiful I really want it with the big beard just looks fantastic but unfortunately I don't have that one yet so I'll have to track that one down. I am missing other Big Show figures as well. So I do want to complete the Big Show collection. I've always loved Big Show. You know, I haven't been big on his huge pushes that he's gotten in his career. But I think when he first came in, it made sense for the time and everything. I think he's been an excellent role player for the company. I think he's a great spokesman for the company. And you got to love Big Show. He's just done everything right in his career. He's a great story. If you've never heard his story, man, it just rags to riches story. Just freaking beast mode. I love Big Show so much, but, you know, it's, it's just not my favorite wrestler in terms of wrestling you know what i'm saying but this man can do it all and it's very impressive to see but that pretty much does it for your big show comparisons you got the shirtless you got the singlet and now that we've covered big show guys let's get into some drew mcintyre accessories so let's take a closer look at drew mcintyre's accessories guys we do get some pretty nice stuff let's start off with the head sculpt right here so starting off guys we do have this interchangeable head sculpt with drew mcintyre you have the hair draping all in the face like bret hart you can see here it does look just like drew mcintyre don't know what's up with the saturation at this moment however it does look like Drew McIntyre, I think it looks pretty good. You can obviously interchange this just like you do with the Jeff Hardy yesterday. But uh, here is the head skull that comes on the packaging, and all you do is you just pop off the chin there, and then you go to your long haired head sculpt and you just pop it on there. I think this is supposed to be, you know, how his hair gets in his face during his entrance, and then when he gets out on the ramp, he says, you know, he yells and then he pushes his or he flaps his head, and then it comes off there, or the hair gets out of his face. But there is the Drew McIntyre head sculpt with the hair in the face. I really do like it, which one do you like down in the comment section below? Let me know down below. Do you like the one with the hair out of the face or in the face? I really like both, and we're going to compare it to his first Elite just to see what it looks like, but I think it's it's uncanny. I mean, it looks identical to Drew McIntyre. You can't tell me it doesn't look like Drew McIntyre. I like both of them. You still get that little neck flap that people will probably cut off, but there is your head sculpts. As far as the rest of Drew McIntyre's accessories, guys, we do get the Raw Tag Team Championship when he was a Tag Team Champion with Dolph Ziggler. They destroyed the B Team. They became the Raw Tag Team Champions, and and I like them as a tag team. It sucks that they're not together. And Drew McIntyre really isn't even on our televisions anymore. Very unfortunate. He should already be a two-time Universal Champion. But, you know, it is what it is. If they would let this man have creative freedom, let him run around butt naked on the main roster, he could easily take over worlds. Uh. 
Next up, guys, we have our interchangeable hands. In the packaging, he does come with open mic holding hands, which I love, but here we have our Claymore kick hands, and what I mean by that is by when he runs and kicks your freaking head off, he slaps his leg like wrestlers do, or a super kick leg. He doesn't really super kick, but he'll boot, big boot the hell out of you, and he'll Claymore kick you, so you slap the leg there, and you have throne sitting hands if you want him to sit on the throne, or you want him to take a dump, or you want him to slap your mom. You have the ability to do so with these open hands. And our last accessory is a re-release of the same entrance jacket that we got with his NXT Target exclusive figure. You have some beautiful dry brushing on the shoulders there to give it that Celtic looking metal look on the shoulder pieces. You have your little silver parts hanging down, little clips there. And you have some nice details sculpted around the thing. But it is rubber, however, you know, these aren't bad because they're actually pretty malleable. You can actually move in the thing and they look good. So I'm excited for this. I'm very happy to have another one of these. And that is it for Drew McIntyre's accessories, guys. So now that we've taken a closer look at that. Let's take a closer look at Drew himself. So taking a closer look at Drew McIntyre himself, guys, you can see here the neck is a little bit tall here. I don't know if that's just fixed from the older figure because I felt like, you know, when you compare it to the back of the packaging, it kind of does look like he has a pretty long neck. His head does sit high on his neck. He does have that little flap on the ear, though. Like, I, I think a lot of people are going to want to cut that off, which I would understand. I don't know if I'll do it to mine just yet, but here's the torso they choose. They choose the Triple H torso, and I'm not the biggest fan of this torso for Drew McIntyre while I know he's absolutely massive. I don't know why I like the other torso better. It's just something that uh, I like to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to switch this out. I think I'm going to, in the comparison section, you guys will see what it looks like compared to the others. But going down into the trunks, you have the same Celtic crosses on the front. You have the McIntyre logo with the lion and the McIntyre on the buttocks. You have the massive arms because he is a mountain of a man. Oh, excuse me. He's a mountain of a man. And then uh, you have his massive legs. You have his great knee pads there. I feel like they switched out his leg mold. This could be I could be wrong, but I feel like these are different lower legs than we got with this NXT figure. We'll have to see in the comparison spot. But they did switch out his boots. They didn't give him the old Drew McIntyre boots. They actually gave him the boots that he wears. So we'll have to compare those to the other. Well, actually, I've already fixed up my old Elite Drew McIntyre. So we'll have to just see. But... Uh, that is pretty much it for Drew McIntyre, man. I mean, he looks good. I love the muscular going on. The hair looks better than it did in the comparison, and we're going to have to see what it looks like up next to the older Drew McIntyre. So now that we have taken a closer look at Drew, guys, let's get into some Drew McIntyre Elite Figure comparisons. So getting into some Drew McIntyre Elite Figure comparisons, guys, you will see the brand new Elite 71 in the middle, and to be honest with you, that makes my piece of trash NXT Target exclusive look terrible. While I do like this torso, I think, better for Drew McIntyre, I think that this this looks better because his his head just sits higher and it makes him look way better. I also have my Elite 9 Drew McIntyre which was headless so I went ahead and popped on the extra head from the Elite 71 and it looks so terrible because his head is so massive compared to the rest of him and his arms are smaller here so it's kind of just difficult to look at but you know I did want to compare it to the Elite 9 Drew McIntyre when he was a smaller guy. He was still big but he was much more lean than he is now. He's way more jacked and here it is uh, you guys can see I did cut the neck right there. Look I was talking about. And I guess the hair isn't as long uh, or isn't as short as I thought it was. It's the same exact hair mold pretty much as the re-release that we got going on here. But you guys can kind of see there is a massive height difference between the two and that's just the difference in that torso size there. But I think I like this. I think I'm going to keep this the way it is. I just think that this looks so much better and I guess that that's just way better, man. I cannot believe that I actually let this just stand this way. His neck looks so stubby like Christ on a bike. Look at that thing, man. I think what I might do is I might take, uh, I actually still have this torso. I may crack this again and re-put this torso back over there because this looks terrible. And then I'll have two different, you know, Trunks logos because the Trunks logos are a bit different here, as you can see there. But they're practically the same figure. And that about does it for our Drew McIntyre Elite Figure comparisons. But that is pretty much going to do it for this 2-in-1 Elite 71 figure review on the brand new Elite 71 Big Show and Drew McIntyre. Guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the review. I think that both of them are very nice. If you don't have a flashback Big Show and you really want one for your Attitude Era collection or your Attitude Era shelf, it will fit in perfectly. I think that it is a great addition by any means. I did not have one at all, so I would love to add it here. Drew McIntyre, it's a great way to pick up a Drew McIntyre if you mix out, missed out on the NXT Target exclusive Drew McIntyre, and it's easy to customize. You know, he hasn't changed his attire that much, so if you wanted to pick this one up, customize it to the NXT version, get this thing, put it on your NXT shelf with the NXT Championship, that would work 
work as well. Or if you want it for your current main roster, that will also work. So I think that that is an excellent way to get in on that because I'm pretty sure the Target exclusive one is going to be increased in price because people like to scalp it, you know, and they, they like to say, well, you know what, Brad, this one's rare. But that's just jackassery, you know. Get this one. It's very easy. It's very simple. And I think it's better because you get the raw tag title and you get the interchangeable head sculpt. So that's just something to think about. Also, you get the Claymore kick your face off hand. But I enjoy both figures. I would highly recommend both of them. I think they stand alone great. Head sculpts are great. It's just great stuff overall. If you would like to pick up either of these figures as well as anything else you saw in this video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10%. You can also get in on their Hell of a Cell going on right now. It's sort of a parody on the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. They have great figures up for really cheap prices. You can pick up on custom pieces and other things of that nature. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. The next review, we are going to be ranking Elite Series 71 from worst to best, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And we will be taking a closer look at the Andrade C and Almas NXT Elite. Thank you so much again for watching the review. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, comment down below what you think of the figures. Please leave a like on this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.